Why would you get rid of Bilic and recycle him with David Moyes? Welcome back to Corner Sports. I'm Albert Aznavour, and if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can see all my content whenever I put it out. But without further ado, let's talk about Slavon Bilic being sacked and David Moyes replacing him at West Ham United. In my weekend preview, I said exactly what happened over the weekend. I said Liverpool would beat West Ham 4-1 and Slavon Bilic would get sacked. If you don't believe me, go ahead and click on the i button and you can see the video but I knew that was gonna happen what I was really interested to see is who West Ham United who by the way have spent a boatload of money over the last two summers who were they going to replace Bilic with now we all know Slavon Bilic was well liked by the fans he's a club hero people at the club liked him like the staff and the players certainly respected him throughout the time although I think at the end and with some players like Payet and Arbeloa and others I think they had lost respect for him and they had left the club for it but nonetheless he was able to bring in big players big for West Ham at the very least or players at the stature of West Ham like Ayu, Antonovic, Hernandez etc these players who maybe could have actually been at better clubs like I could see Hernandez at a bigger club than West Ham United because he's a quality player but he they were able to lend him and part of that was because of Slavon Bilic unfortunately things didn't work out starting from actually last season you could see this team was not the same as they were two years ago when you look at West Ham United two years ago when Slavon had just come in they had great defensive shape and it made sense because this guy is a defender and he was able to organize the team better. My fear is I wonder if that organization came from Big Sam who was there before him and that's what it seems like. Like for example when you look at Crystal Palace it was managed by Tony Pulis and then Tony Pulis left all in Pardew took over and the first season or so or the first couple of months you can see that that defensive shape was there which Pardew is not known for but after he implemented his system that shape was gone and I think the same thing happened with Billich because that first year that defensive shape that Big Sam had put in place for him was there and that team was able to defend well and on top of that they were able to attack really well especially because of that breakout season that Pyatt had and that team seemed like it was playing real well but the season after that you had that controversy with Pyatt wanting to leave and he eventually leaves in January to Marseille and then after that the team that it just they didn't play to what the expectations were and maybe part of that was moving to a new stadium and the fans were complaining how the stadium is just not what it was was promised anybody I see talking about the London Stadium will tell me that it's a poor stadium I mean you're essentially in an Olympic Stadium you can't get a chant going it's not as loud as it used to be and you could understand that maybe the first year it's a transition it's difficult to play in a new place a new home and we can excuse the poor performances especially at home the first season but you come into your second season you've signed some great players like Hernandez who you weren't expecting to sign before you've brought in Zabaleta on big money Joe Hart is there also on big money you've signed some really big stars or in the case of Zabaleta, previous stars, but still players that can serve you in their positions and the performances are still not there. And that's because Slavon Bilic is just an overhyped manager that got lucky with Big Sam's defensive structure and got extremely lucky with the creativity that Payet had to bring to this team and eventually taking them to, what is it, eighth place that they finished. In. And I mean, I'm not a genius for calling Slavon Bilic a sack. Everybody saw it coming. I thought he actually should have gotten sacked way early, but he didn't. Here we are, he gets sacked and now Names are getting thrown out. Personally, I wanted somebody new brought in, right? I didn't want Komen to step in. I certainly did not think that Moyes was the man for the job. Maybe they could have poached like a Wagner from Huddersfield, but I don't think he's interested in leaving because he's got something special going on there. But you could have brought in somebody from a different, maybe you should have gone for, you know, Thomas Tuchel, who doesn't have a job right now, and at least given him some experience in the Premier League and maybe he was willing to stay with you. I mean, you look at managers like Marco Silva who didn't have previous experience in the Premier League but are doing real well with Watford right now and I understand that he had his, you know, four to five months with Hull last season and wasn't able to keep him up. That's not due to his poor managerial skills. That's just because Hull are shit. But you know who are more shit than Hull? Sunderland. And you know who managed them? 
David Moyes. And you know where he's now? At West Ham. West Ham essentially said, we are, this. we're barely in November, and they are already in a relegation scrap. They've admitted that much. They've brought in David Moyes for a relegation scrap. They didn't bring him in for some sort of a long-term stability. They gave this man a six-month contract, and they told him, don't get us, if you offered any West Ham fan right now the 17th place in the Premier League today, they would take it without question and would be like, let's just figure out what we can do next season. And that's just sad, especially on some of the money that you're paying to your players and the quality of players you've got. West Ham fans can moan and bitch about how much quality they don't have. If you look at their previous teams, historically speaking, yes, they've had good players here and there, but in the recent years, especially maybe like the last 10 years, this is possibly the best team they've had in a long while. I mean, you've got world-class players. And I say world-class lightly because you've got players who participate in their national team, who played in the World Cup, who've played for Manchester United and Real Madrid and Manchester City. They've played for big clubs and they've come to West Ham expecting big things and that's not being delivered. I don't think when Hernandez came, he was expecting a relegation scrap. I don't think Joe Hart showed up and said, I'm happy to be in a, relega in a relegation fight. I don't I don't think Zabaleta thought that, I don't think Ayu thinks that, Antanovic and etc. The list goes on and on. All of these players that have come in, they didn't come in for a relegation scrap and that's not why you brought him in. So why are you hiring David Moyes who by the way just has shot his confidence, Gets he's still under contract with Manchester United who he got sacked from and became the joke of football. That man is a joke, he's a punchline, and now he's a manager of a club that is becoming a punchline. By this appointment, you've essentially become the punchline of the Premier League this season. That's what you've done. And it's sad to see because I expected this club to perform much better this season than what they've done. And you can chuck that down to their poor defensive shape or the fact that the stadium is not what it is, the divide between fans, the fact that fans will boo players as soon as they make a mistake and that causes a lot of stress. Everything and all of that is a cause. But bringing David Moyes in is just so pathetic. A manager who finished 20 20th last season with a Sunderland side who by the way have still not recovered from the shit that he caused at that club they're sitting pretty in like the last three spots of the championship they might as well get relegated to league one I mean that club is looking poor right now and a lot of that is down to David Moyes and honestly my personal prediction is David Moyes does not stick around for a long time at this club. Let's just look at the schedule West Ham has coming up, just like their next 10 games. West Ham goes to Watford away, their next game. That's not a game they're going to win. Then they play at home versus Leicester City, who, by the way, brought in a new manager and looked great. That's not a game they can win. Maybe you pick up a point. All right. You go away at Everton, a place where you may pick up a point, maybe, but you'll lose because David Moyes is your manager and then after that you see a row of killers you play City Chelsea Arsenal back to back to back and I don't expect you to get any points there and then after that you travel away to Stoke City and mm, can you play at a rainy night called in Stoke in December I doubt it I highly doubt it Let's keep looking down the line. Then you play Newcastle and then Bournemouth, which maybe you pick up a point against Newcastle, but I don't know if Rafa Benitez is a better manager than Moyes. Maybe you pick up a point if you're lucky. Then you play Bournemouth, which is a relegation scrap six-pointer. Maybe you pick up your first win with David Moyes against Bournemouth. That's eight games from now that you may possibly pick up your first win with this man. Why would you bring in David Moyes, who I don't care what he did with Everton. I don't care. Because after he left Everton, he went to United, where maybe he was treated a bit unfairly, but that shot his managerial confidence. Went to Sociedad, got sacked, went to Sunderland, got relegated, left the club, went into punditry, and now he's managing your club. And that's what you have to look forward to, West Ham fans. I'm curious what you have to say. Are you happy with the appointment of David Moyes at your club? Do you think you'll stay up this season? Do you think you'll be able to compete and maybe go up the table? I don't see it, but let me know below. Is West Ham a club that'll get relegated and maybe shoot back up next season? Who would you rather have at your club? Do you think David Moyes survives until May? 
answer all of these questions below. Thank you once again for coming back to Corner Sports. I'm super excited to keep pumping out this content for you, whether that's UFC, Premier League, Italy, anything to do with football. I'm excited to talk about it. Now we're in a national break. I'm going to have to get a little more creative. But don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up button. Leave me your comment below, especially if you're a West Ham fan. Let's start a discussion, and I'll see you next time.